Mm, hello everyone, this is Amit Don of AmitDon.com. Today I will have another episode of unboxing video and I'll be presenting the Prunus J401 radio, which I have it right here. So recently I got into radio and I just did uh, my first radio review uh, a few days ago and uh, that was the uh, Prunus uh, J166, a tiny pocket radio, uh, which is right here. And you'll find this review in the description box below. And uh, after this, I purchased uh, this one, uh, Prunas J401. So this is a new radio. It's uh, just released recently, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I got into radio very recently. I haven't had a radio for decades. So this is actually my second radio. And the other one, uh, J166, is my first radio. Uh, so. What attracted me about buying this radio is the price point. So this is a really inexpensive radio and stating that uh, the features they're giving you and the price of the radio is just doesn't make sense. So I just wanted to uh, buy and try it out that you know if uh, this is really a good one or not. So today we're going to unbox this radio and I'm going to go over a few features and then uh, you know i'm going to test it out for a few uh, days or weeks and then later on i'll just uh, do the second part of the review which will attach it to this part so the first thing let's talk about the price uh, you can find this for 20 to 30 dollars canadian so what happened when i first saw this radio it was 40 dollars canadian and then later on the price dropped to 20 dollars with a coupon so it's just like you know hard to believe that you know it can be uh, that cheap I have a feeling that they're just kind of like you know doing a promotional uh, price uh, because this radio just came out and uh, they want people to buy so later on they may you know increase the price uh, so let's uh, look at some of the features so this is actually a shortwave uh, band radios it has AM FM and shortwave and it can record it can play mp3 and it can even show lyric uh, from the radio uh, which is I find it very hard to believe uh, because of uh, you know the price and some other features we have here is that uh, the model number is J401 and it can support memory card TF uh, up to 32 gig then the screen resolution is uh, 128 by uh, 64 which is not bad uh, then the band you're getting is AM uh, 520 to 1710 FM 87 to 108 megahertz and shortwave 4.75 to 21.85 megahertz then the number of a station you can store uh, you can actually you know store memory uh, so it looks like m60 FM 80 and shortwave 100 the power it takes is 2 watt and then it actually runs on a lithium ion battery uh, which is 1200 mAh uh, that's another good thing about this radio so you don't have to keep buying batteries and dimension is really like in a small radio and you can see that you know the weight is only 21 gram which is very little and lightweight and uh, some other features uh, there they didn't mention on the cover is that uh, this radio actually has a telescopic antenna and then it can uh, you know it has earphone jack a sleep timer and then it has a voice recorder it has a ux or aux jack uh, you can connect it to a, another speaker uh, you can it has a lock button and dc 5 volt charging uh, preset delete stations and voice recorder so it's packed with features uh, let's uh, you know start the unboxing first and then we'll take a look at the radio okay so the box is all empty so here's the radio and here's what we uh, what it comes with the radio so let's take a look at it so the first thing is the lithium ion battery and this is a uh, 1200 mAh and uh, these days actually you shouldn't have to buy a radio which it doesn't come with a lithium ion rechargeable battery because there's no point like you know uh, keep buying battery after battery and then if you take a look at it here this is 1200 mAh 3.7 volt so I'm going to just you know set it aside here and then we have a an AUX jack uh, so this is to connect your radio to an outside speaker so this is a nice uh, addition that you know they provided this jack 
and then we have here USB jack which is a micro USB this is not USB C and uh, you know I didn't expect USB C from an inexpensive video like this and then we have something like a scratch card so it could be like you know a, a bonus or something um, so I'll just you know set it aside here and then we have even a manual and looks like you know they detailed out everything about the radio so the manual come in handy uh, later on so I'll just you know set it aside and these are just like you know packaging or fill up for the box so I'll just put everything here and then let's look at the actual radio so I'll just take it out okay so here is what we have something I mentioned uh, forgot to mention is that actually this is a stereo radio uh, there are two speakers uh, and that's another surprising uh, fact uh, that you know for an inexpensive radio is just even giving you stereo uh, capability so the radio is incredibly light when you it like kind of fits your palm so if you take a look at it it's like really small it very same like even a smaller than a cell phone as you can see it's smaller than a cell phone and it's a very nice looking radio you can tell and then here we have you know some of the preset stations or set stations uh, you can set up and then here are the like you know uh, buttons for the band log button so these i do not know yet how they work so i'm going to just like you know go through everything here uh, and then here we have the aux jack uh, input uh, mic out uh, output or aux output tf card or memory card and then on this side we have uh, let's take a look here so you can see that you know there's a volume and there is the memory plus memory minus and dc 5 volt in and on the back there is even a kind of recliner I think just to you know keep your radio this way if you need to and then we have the battery chamber which is going to be right here the lithium and battery and then looks like that's it about the radio but definitely like you know uh, there's no way you're not going to like the looks of the radio it looks very good looking radio and it doesn't even look a cheap radio so I'm going to do go through the radio I'm going to test it out for a few days or weeks and then I'm going to attach the second part of the review with this review and then I'll provide more my insights on you know how it works and how uh, the stations are whether you know it catches good stations or how is the sound quality and everything hello everyone i have had a few uh weeks to test this radio and today i'd just like to go over some of the you know some more details so to turn on and off you just need to press this button and uh, it's going to you know start playing uh, a channel or whichever you last you know uh, played so if you'd like to uh, save a channel so you have to just you know have channel here mm -hmm. so for example let's say five four zero i'm not even sure if that's a channel but let's say there's something there five four zero am and then if you'd like to save it then you press you know the five preset you hold it and you can see the channel button is blinking then you just put three and then press here and then you're going to get this message asking if you want to save then press this again and now this channel is under channel 3 you know quick button so you can save 1 to uh, 0 and that's how you save it so let's say if you'd like to scan all the channels in your area uh, so all you have to do you just press this button and it's going to keep looking for all the channels which are available and then it's going to save them uh, and then once the cycle is complete then you have all the channels uh, and if you want to stop that then you can just you know press it for a little bit 
then it should stop it. So sometimes this button doesn't work. And sometimes it works, but you know, it looks like right now I, I'm not able to stop anything. It just keeps like, you know, going on. But now you can see that it stopped. So it's kind of a little bit glitchy. So you can scan for channel. Uh, like you know going manually uh, so let's say you know the channel let's say seven four zero so if you just enter it directly then it's going to play that channel and if you just pr press one again then it's going to just go to your pre saved which you pressed under uh, which you saved before and if you'd like to scan manually then you can just press up and down and then you know it just goes up 10 every time but if you just want to go to the next available without pressing um, one by one then you can just hold it for a few seconds and then it's just going to go to the channel it saved when you did the scanning so let me just lower the volume a little bit Okay, so this radio has shortwave band. So let's say if I press shortwave, and you can see that it has shortwave. It has shortwave one, two, I believe nine. But the problem with this radio that you know the shortwave band simply doesn't work. So I tried many times trying to tune into a shortwave, but all you hear is kind of like you know noise, and it feels like there is a station, but you know it's not able to uh, tune into that station and I even spent uh, about ten dollars buying a wired antenna and I touch it to this radio but still the shortwave signal doesn't work so I think that's the weak point of this radio that you know the shortwave doesn't work so if you're buying a radio just to listen uh, to shortwave or interested in shortwave then definitely this is not the radio uh, because it's not gonna work uh, but you know in terms of AM and FM it, it just works fine so you know there's no problem with that and another thing I'd like to mention that uh, its battery life is really good you can see that it still it has like in you know, a 50 75 percent battery and I don't actually remember when I charged it last time so in terms of battery it's really good so that's there's no complaint there so overall you know I'm uh, not unhappy with the product uh, I'm not too happy either uh, because you know the short wave doesn't work. I wanted to see what kind of stations I get on short wave. So that way, uh, you know, this short wave is not working. Everything is, else is working that's very fine. And you know, I'm okay with that. So that's all about the Prunas J401. Thank you for watching this video. There'll be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.